Welcome back to Interview TV at the halfway point of the show. And on the expo floor, innovation is everywhere. And the conference is looking straight into the future. This morning, the conference kicked off with a visionary look at the foundation of everything here, the map. But what does the map become in an age of AI and global crisis? At Intergeo 2025, the German Cartography Congress opens with a keynote by Serena Kötzi, head of the Resource Nexus program at UNU Flores. Under the theme addressing global challenges, cartography for the future and the future of cartography, Kötzi spotlights the explosion of geospatial data and the governance needed to make it available, accessible and usable. Drawing on interdisciplinary work across GI science, cartography and information systems, she shows how geospatial data supports the integrated management of environmental resources and why smarter maps and open standards are critical for decisions that shape our shared future. The future of cartography is exciting because we have all these tools and because we have all this data and I think the tools are going to be more sophisticated in future so then it will become so much easier to create maps, more, many different kinds of maps but the point behind all of this is that the humans will continue to play an important role. Under the motto, Rethinking Data to your data in the age of AI sovereignty and digital realities, this year's Intergeo press conference highlighted a profound shift in how geospatial information is generated, managed and applied. At the center, the transformation of geodata, from static to dynamic, from isolated to connected, from passive to predictive. Distinguished guests included Professor Rudolf Steiger, President of DVW, Ralf Mosler from Autodesk, Sebastian Pache from ESRI, Henning Sandford from Hexagon, Boris Skopjak from Trimble and Olaf Freyer, CEO of Hinterexpo Conference. The discussion focused on the rapid integration of artificial intelligence, the role of BIM and digital twins, the need for open standards and the growing challenge of talent shortages. Without AI we are knocked out or as we enjoy German will say, ohne KI sind wir K.O. Yeah, so I, I think this is a very fair statement, but, but AI without geodata, that doesn't make sense at all. AI needs geodata to understand the context, the planet we are living on, so that AI is able to make the right decisions we are faced with. For Intergeo, it's the momentum we have to uh, translate into the future. So there is a need on not only having a one live event, but also having digital touch point uh, in the year between two Intergeos to keep this kind of spirit, this keep of vibes running. With more than 17,000 visitors expected, Intergeo 2025 clearly demonstrates live events remain irreplaceable for bringing together innovation, technology and the global geospatial community. Reality capturing turns the physical world into decision-ready 3D, fast. From drones and LiDAR to AI, it's field to cloud in minutes. It's where data becomes impactful. And uh, reality capturing plays an important role here with an own podcast studio in the application dome and in the conference. Panel, the future of reality capturing presented by Three Dice brought together experts and innovators to discuss how digitization projects can be taken to the next level. From data collection and processing to applications, platforms and even digital marketing strategies, the panel demonstrated the full pipeline of reality capture. I think in, in reality capturing uh, and basically in all 3D industry, the, the overhyped term right now is 3D Gaussian splatting. So we were speaking also about this, uh, about how it is affected, affected when we are capturing the data or processing the data or delivering the data. So I think this is the term that everybody should be paying attention to. What a fantastic second day, inspiring people, powerful insights and tons of energy. Now let's roll the highlights. Use AI at the edge, respectively on the device AI. Coming from being a, a myth, is it the devil's thing or is it the holy grail? And I think 
sometimes we just get pigeonholed into one specific product or one specific company when there's a lot of innovation that can happen in a place like here. A lot of industries are going through massive uh, digital transformations at the moment and if you look every single one of those transformations, there's a geospatial element in there. Give the user the option to focus on the essence, what he or she will need in order to proceed in their job and their objective. We all know that data is king, but reality data, to me, is the most valuable data type because it can be repurposed for anything. Je besser die Daten gesammelt werden können, desto professioneller und effektiver wird der Einsatz. Absolut. Und auch sicherer. We'll see us in the next show with day three of Interview. We'll keep the cameras rolling for you and see you back here for Interview TV News. Catch all interviews and reports on YouTube. And if you enjoyed it, drop a like or subscribe. Thank you and see you tomorrow. Here at Intergeo, we build up.